Hey, what's up design modeling students? Today is a good day. If you're listening to this video, it means that you have created all your parts for your playground and you're finally ready to put it all together and get that A. So good for you. Way to make it this far and create all your assemblies like you were supposed to. So this one's going to show you how to put it all together. It's not that hard. You've already done all the hard work. This is going to be easy for you. So here we go. Start a new assembly. That's step one. So I'm going to close this out and go to my assembly. Once I'm in the assembly, I need to start placing all my parts and my other assemblies. So I'm going to go there. I'm already in my playground and I clicked place. Um, things I need to add, I need my monkey bars. And I'll be honest, my colors are kind of crazy and not that great. There is my monkey bars. They look good. Next thing I need to place is my platform assembly. There we go. Got my platform in there. I'm going to go ahead and place my wall climb assembly. There that is. And I need my two slides, as you know. First one we'll throw in is the spiral slide, and the second one I'll throw in there is the tunnel slide. So the order that you put these together doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the monkey bars. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is, you notice there's a side of the monkey bars that has six rungs, and the other side has eight. I'm going to go ahead and stick the side with eight to my platform. But my platform moves around, so i got to make that thing stay still. You do that by right clicking on it and clicking grounded. Okay. That thing is not going to move now. Now let's stick these monkey bars on there. I'm going to go up to my constrain tools. I'm going to turn my camera a little bit so I can see the right side of those monkey bars that I want. And I'm just going to click on the top beam here. And what I'm doing is mating it to the top of the platform face here. the top of the monkey bars. So now that they're mated there, I kind of want them to line up. So I'm going to click flush. So I go to my constraint tools. S flush is the second solution over here. And I'm going to click the top of those monkey bars and the top of the platform. Now they line up perfectly and click apply. The monkey bars need one more constraint and that is also a flush. And I'm going to flush the top side of the monkey bar there to the top left or front, whatever you want to call it of the platform. Well now those line up and that is perfect but I don't want them lining up quite like that so we're gonna do something called an offset and that is right here. The offset I want is 18 inches. That pushed the monkey bars over 18 inches from the edge of this platform and that's where I want it so I'm gonna click apply. If you go ahead and close this and grab the monkey bars they shouldn't move because they're fully constrained to the platform. Awesome. Let's move on to the wall climb. The wall climb is going to go on the opposite side of the monkey bar assembly. So I'm going to click constrain. I'm going to grab my little box up here and move the camera all the way around. And what I'm going to do is glue or mate the wall climb to the face of the platform. And there it goes. The next thing I'm going to do is align the tops of them by clicking on flush and I'll click on the top of the wall climb here and the top of the platform and those are now flush and smooth together. I'll click apply. I'm going to go ahead and change my view here because what I want to see is this side of the platform here to get these to line up. So that is also a flush tool. So I'm going to flush that side to that side. You can see they're nice and smooth now and I'm going to click apply. I'm going to close that, click my house, and my wall climb is totally secure now as well. Great. Just got two more to go. Let's start with the tunnel slide. I'm going to click constrain. I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to click the face here of the bottom of the tunnel slide, and I'm going to put it on the back side of my platform, and I'll click on the face of that platform, and I'm going to close that. I'm going to kind of look at it, make sure it looks right. Good. It moves around still, so I'm going to move it off just a little bit so I can get access to this. And I'm going to click Constrain one more time. And I'm going to mate the bottom edge of that opening of your platform. So not the face again, but just this bottom lip there. 
And where do you think I'm going to mate it to? Well, the very bottom lip of the platform. So same thing, not the top lip, but the bottom lip. And I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to close that and show you what it looks like. Now when I move it, it slides back and forth. Okay, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is flush these sides together here by clicking Constrain. And I'm going to click Flush. I'm going to do the right face to the right edge there. But again, like the monkey bars, I'm going to do an offset here of 18 inches. That'll push it to the left by 18 inches. If yours goes the other way, just click negative 18 and it'll go the opposite way. So I'm going to click apply here. Close and great. Tunnel slide is totally constrained. The last one I got here is the spiral slide and it is a little bit difficult so I'm going to go a little bit slower now. You're going to click on constrain tool here and we are going to mate this front right edge of your tri-platform to the top of the spiral slide. So this requires some maneuvering on your part. I'm going to kind of grab that camera, move it way around. And what I'm looking for is the top scoop of that spiral slide. So I'm going to click on the whole face of it. You guys can see it makes like that original happy face that you drew. So I'm going to click on the face. It mates it over there. That's fantastic. Change my view. I'm going to zoom in on it. Great. Click apply. I'm going to go ahead and close that for now. So that is mated on there, but it still kind of moves around. So we're going to do one more mate. This is the trickier of the two. I'm going to click constrain. And what I'm going to mate now is the very top corner of that spiral slide. So I'm going to click this top edge of it. Okay. Click there. I'm going to click the top edge of the tri platform. Now, what it does is it mates the edges there, but it shot it down. And I don't want it to go down. I want it to go up so the kids don't like fall through this hole and hurt themselves. So I'm going to click over here on the offset and I'm going to type 10. And it sucked it up. And if yours doesn't suck it up, maybe try negative 10 and see if that works for you. And I'm going to click apply, close, click on my home view move that slide pretty close. You can see mine can pop up and down if I grab it. I don't like that. So I want to make sure it stays up. Got one more constraint here. I'm going to click on constraint and we're going to click on a tangent. Haven't used this one yet. That'll put a cylindrical item to a flat surface or two cylindrical items together. And I'm going to change my view over here. And I'm going to click on the left front of the main platform. And what I want it to mate to or tangent to is the outside curvature of this tunnel slide, spiral slide, sorry. So I'm going to click right there and see the arrow pointing towards the platform. And it sucks it over there and they're kind of touching now, which is great. And I'll click apply. I'm going to change my home view. Make sure that tunnel slide doesn't move and it doesn't. And you are done. Congratulations. Make sure nothing is moving funny or looks funny. And if it's all secure, then you are ready to be graded. Congratulations. You can change all your colors at that point, whatever you want. You can change them all at once if you all at once if you wanted to. Just make them all light red. Okay. Crazy looking. So you're good. Make sure you save it so that I can come around and grade it. Good job. Talk to you guys soon.